Oh, <laughs> I couldn't tell if it was on. Um, I normally see a little beeping light and I didn't see it. All right, we're going to look at pages 10 through 13 on pace 1122. And um, geometric sequences and series. <clears throat> One of the terms that we have to get very comfortable with is what's called the ratio between terms in a series. And that would be, for it to be a for it to actually be a series or a sequence, there has to be some number, could even be a fraction, that multiplied times the first term will give you the second term. And then that same ratio times the second term gives you the third term. That same ratio times the third term gives you the fourth term, okay, etc. So the easy way to do that is take the second term and divide by the first one. So 21 divided by seven is three. Now let's see if that works here. 63 divided by 21, is that three? Yes, it is, okay? And then 189 divided by three would give me 63. So, <clears throat> oops. So in a case like this, I could say that R equals three. That is the ratio, all right? So on page 10, they have you just finding the ratio. And if there is no ratio, and remember, your ratio could be a, a fraction, and a ratio could be a negative number. But the point is that if you multiply each term times that, you'll get the next term in the sequence, and the next term in the sequence, and the next term in the sequence, okay? So try that on page 10. All right, then on page 11, um, this is the formula, and I wrote it down right here, to find a, they call it the nth term, and that actually is a, a terminology that mathematicians do use a lot, you know, to refer to some term down the road, the nth degree or the nth term, and it just means we don't know. I mean, it could be anything. It could be the 7th, the 12th, 27th, you know, on and on. You know, the 116th term, I and mean, you could just keep going infinitely, and nth, nth, just means some term way down there. So in this case, and if you look at the bottom of the page, they... Um, Let's say find the missing terms for each geometric sequence. So they do tell you that it's a sequence, so you just have to find well, what is the R value, okay? Then um, I'm going to take this, you know, little sequence here, and we're going to try to figure out what would the 12th term be if we carried this out, okay? So I have four of them here, and I could keep multiplying times three, times three, times three, and keep going and going and going until I get all, all, all the way out there to the 12th term. But an easier way is to use this formula. So the 12th term would be, take the first term, which in this case is seven, all right, times the ratio, which is three, to the now, because I want to find the 12th term, I don't use an exponent of 12, but I actually do 12 minus 1, okay? So I'm going to multiply this to the 11th <clears throat> power, 3 to the 11th power. So on your calculator, you need to find a key that looks like x to the y power, all right? And then you can hit the 3, and then hit probably the second function of this key, or maybe you hit three and then you hit that key and then you hit the 11 and then that will give you the answer. You don't have to sit there 11 times going three, 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 right? You could and you would get the same answer, but using this X to the Y key will make it a lot faster. Take that number and multiply that times seven. Do not first multiply seven times three and get 21 and then take the 21 to the 11th power or you'll definitely get the wrong answer. So we always do the exponents first and again, this is reviewing that order of operations, exponents first, then do the multiplication, and you'll get a big number, okay? So they have the sequence here, and then they want you to find the eighth term. So A to the eighth, the subscript A tells you what oomph term. So A to the eighth, A to the tenth, A to the fourteenth, okay? And uh, so you're gonna just keep plugging in the eight, the 10, the 14, for the N, and that tells you which term. 
And so then actually you'll subtract one from that times the ratio and to multiply that times the first term, <coughs> which they give you in all of those sequences. Okay, does that make sense? They only give you five problems, all right? Although you do have three, three problems to solve for each one. So you get, you get a little bit of practice. Maybe do the first two, check the score key, see if you're on the right track, and then uh, you know, move on to the next. All right, I'll stop the video there. I said that this is all the way through page 13. Let me stop and I'll do uh, page 12 and 13 as a separate video.